Hi guys, Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. Today we're going to be making a tool to make our own wire hose clamps. I already did a video on this style of wire hose clamp making. It's probably my, well it is my best video that I have. But we're going to make a different style of tool to make wire hose clamps. This here's a tool that I built and it uh, makes it makes a different style of wire hose clamp and it holds just as well as these ones do but it's just a little bit easier to make them or use it so we're going to go ahead and make a, a tool to to make those wire hose clamps and i'll show you how it's used we're going to start out with a piece of flat bar it's inch by three eighths and I went ahead and I traced I traced the handles the way I wanted it. I went ahead and traced it. We're going to go ahead and cut this out with the right angle grinder. Okay, we got the handles cut out. Hey honey, what are you doing? Hi Miss Toby. Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing, sweetheart? It's Toby. She's coming to say hello. Miss Tessie. This is Tessie. Okay. Go, guys. Okay. We got our handles cut out and shaped pretty well. I just cut them out with a cut-off disc, and then I ground them. And then I used... Uh, a sanding wheel to make it smooth and we're gonna make them a little prettier yet uh, yet after we get get them together here okay so what we need to do is we need to figure out a way to make these pivot basically and what I think I'm gonna do is cut a little piece of steel for there. And then what we're going to do, well, I'll cut two little little tabs for on there and then we're going to drill holes in them. I'm just going to cut them off. We got our little tabs cut off or cut out. We're going to want to weld them on there after we drill holes. We got to drill holes in them first. I think I'm on a 5 16 bolt. I think we'll go with 5 16 Okay, let's find a 5 16 inch drill bit. And we use this drill bit here. Yep, perfect. Okay, next step is we need we need these little points sticking up off of 
this piece here. So what we need to do is drill a couple quarter inch holes because these are quarter inch. I have some stainless steel that we'll use for that. They just don't have to be in there in any particular place. These are going to be like this. Just drill those, drill the holes into here. I'm afraid I weaken the steel too much if I drill them the whole way through, but maybe yeah, we'll give it a go, see what happens. Okay, now I need four pieces of this round bar say an inch in that one how long is that you can tell we're not we don't have to be super precise here guys take that over and put it in the bandsaw and we'll cut four pieces. Okay guys, we got our slugs or our quarter inch round bar cut for in our holes here. We'll weld them on the bottom. We'll also weld them on the top around it. So they look something like that and then we'll weld these tabs on here to make our hinge. Okay guys, this is what it kind of looks like after it's welded together. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Clean in my welds up here and I need to put rounds. I need to round these here off. Ooh, that's still hot. Round them off, something like that. Okay, this here's what they look like. Polished up. I just have a sanding wheel for on my grinder. I just polished them up and got them welded up. Um, we're going to go ahead and we need to cut a groove here in the top for the wire to set. I got the groove cut in there and I also cut the bolt off. And in this case, I wanted to lock that nut on the bolt. So I just took a center punch and punched where the bolt and the nut meet. That will keep that locked on there. And we have three hoses that need fixed. This one here I ran over with a skid steer and you can see it has this method of hose clamp on it right here. But we're going to go ahead and the new wire clamp tool and I think you'll agree with me it's, it's easier to use than the other one I just use old wire whenever I'm doing these things you don't have to be Can't really seem to find the end, so we're going to make a new end. We're going to go ahead and fix this one first. <clears throat> Hose, it's really cold here today, so I like to keep my hoses up a little bit. <clears throat>
Don't have to heat it up a lot. Just a little bit to make it so it's pliable or more pliable. Sometimes it's easier to put an end on this in order to get that stuck in the end of the hose. Okay, we got it stuck in there. Now what we want to do is take our wire. We want to go around it. Twice. Okay, we've got our wire there. We'll take it over top of each other. Put our tool in there. Like that. See how our wire stuck in there take wrap it around just kind of weave it around your pins Tighten it down on there. And once it's tight, twist it just like that. You end up with something like this. And we'll trim them a little tighter. Just like to pull them ends down nice and tight. Just like that, so you don't catch on you. Put this one down nice and tight. like that and that won't leak any of the ones that I've done like this have been just as just as good as this I don't know if I would this hose clamp here with this if you haven't seen that video I'm gonna put a link up in the top to it um, this here I've used on hydraulic lines before there we go it's fixed let's do another one now this in here is going to be a little more interesting because these don't fit in here real good. So you can actually see how, how well they do. Just take and wrap our wire around twice. Cross it like that. Take our old wire off our tool. like that I'll tighten her down on there I 
I like to tighten it down, let it off, and then retighten it. And we just spin it, just like that. Take our tension off, cut it off. Just shortening those hose, shorten them up a little bit. Just bend them over, just like that. You have a hose clamp. Just put two new hose ends on. They won't come apart and they won't leak either. I've never had one leak. Okay, guys, that's the wire hose clamp tool. There's not a whole lot to make, and I'm going to go ahead and paint it so it looks a little bit better. But if you want to make one, there it is. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but it it's really does a nice job. It's, like I said before, it's a little bit faster than this hose clamp tool, and they hold just as well. And I will be doing another two videos on wire hose clamps. I have two more tools that I'd like to show you on making wire hose clamps. If you enjoyed the video please subscribe like comment share with a friend hit that notification bell that helps us out and helps us keep content coming to you and we'll see you on the next video so long